Hey, what's up? This is your boy, Big Man. You already know what it is, man. So let's get right to it. Now, this is some crazy news going out today, man, because there's a new video that just got released online, and it's on several different social media platforms. Now, most of you would have thought by now that the FBG Duck situation would be over, since all the guys from O Block or the alleged O Block 6 members have all been found guilty in a federal court it looks like they're going to be serving a lot of time in jail. You know what I'm saying? And not even to mention a lot of time. It looks like the rest of their lives in, in prison, to be, to be exact. You know what I mean? Well, some new footage just dropped today, and it's being posted everywhere. And it is from the tragic day that FBG Duck lost his life. Now, no way are we trying to glamorize this footage or bring light to anything in a positive way, but it's wild to say the least. Now, some of it we can't show because it looks like it's the exact hit being carried out, and it's wild that it's all over the place on social media right now, but it's got a lot of people talking about the dangers of Chicago and the city of Chicago and the things that are going down there, man. As you know, Chicago is one of the craziest places in the country as far as, you know, violent crime and things of that nature, man. It's got that reputation and had that reputation for a long time since it was deemed Chirac. Recently, you've had artists come out and try to push peace and change the narrative about the city of Chicago, but it lingers because of the ongoing gang violence and senseless violence that happens within the city. Now, let's check out this situation that's going down now, and I want to look at these video clips and kind of break down what's being released here. So, let's check this out. Now, as you see in this post right here from social media, it says that surveillance video services of O Block members before and after the FBG Duck hit. So this is video of them before and after FBG Duck was shot down in the Gold Coast in Chicago a couple years back. Now this is crazy to say the least. And you know, right now, everybody's getting really good at getting this footage, getting a lot of these jail videos, getting a lot of this body cam footage. And, but in this situation, it's a little different because some of this video is obviously from the discovery in the case because they've got video surveillance video from like a staircase, you know, in in the tri or staircase where the alleged members where it looks like Muwap is going up the stairs and things like that. They've got video from the street. They've got video from one of the stores. So man, let's actually get to it, man. So in this first video clip right here, that looks like Muwap running up the stairs and it says building camera 642 that's another guy with dreads running up the stairs now they're saying that this is connected to the fbg duck shooting this looks like if they're running up the stairs it might have been before or it might have been after but this camera right building camera 642 it looks like this was taken strictly out of the discovery like somebody went to the discovery and got this somebody went and got this footage now this other guy walking he's walking slowly other people are walking. He's on his phone. It looks like he might not be involved in this situation. It looks like he might actually be somebody who's just walking on the staircase. And he got a text that, you know, he's like, what in the world? He doesn't seem as in a hurry as the first two dudes that you saw there, right? But you see there again, that looks like Muwap, you know, allegedly running up the steps. And then you've got another guy following him, moving just as fast. So hey, whoever these guys are, they're in a hurry. And it's broad daylight. Don't forget that. It's broad daylight that this all is getting caught on camera, man. So let's look at the next video. Now this one. Okay, now this video, I got to give you a warning. We're going to have to cut this off early. But this is allegedly from the Gold Coast. This is 103 and it gets cut off like the street number. But obviously somebody took their time to label each one of these videos at, t at the top. And that's how you probably know that it's, this has come from the discovery in the case. This is from the evidence pile in the case for those who are wondering what the discovery is, right? Now you see a mannequin sitting there and this is video from a store that's obviously on the same block. It's like the 100, whatever. You see the glass shatter right there. So you see the shattering glass on the, on the video. That lets you know that something, you know, there was gunfire and that's probably why they use that in the evidence, man. Here goes another video, whatnot. And you see right there, people running, running away from the situation. Some guy on a bike, jumping on his phone as well. But this is the this is the video at the beginning. And we got to cut this off because 
right at this point is when the is when the shooting is about to start taking place. You see the Chrysler pull off real fast. You see the other car pull off real fast to show how precious life is and how quick your life can be gone, man. This is a crazy situation. So let's continue on, man, and look at the next video clip. Now, this part right here, this looks like the car is actually returning after the shooting had took place. You see a lot of people huddled up outside of what I believe is, is O Block because look, they have it marked on the top. If you look at the very top, it's marked as Parkway Gardens. So, you know, the other name for the official name for, for O Block, you see the little label there. That lets you know also this is probably out of the discovery and somebody did a request to get this information or they somehow finagled their way to get this information because the case, I don't even think they've, they've officially been sentenced. So I don't think they would be releasing discovery and things like that yet at, free to the public or whatever, man. But let, let's continue. So you see that same car, that same Chrysler car right there, returning to Parkway Gardens, a, AKA O Block, right there. You see that? And you see the guys getting out the car. Now they're getting out the car and they look like they walking kind of slow. But there's a lot of people outside at the same time that they're getting out. And as they're getting out, they kind of go in the same direction and other people disperse. So it looks like people are, they were waiting for them almost. It looks like people were waiting for them. Then as they got out the car, they kind of just walked away slowly. And as you see here, those same group of people walking by in that other camera angle. Now in this camera angle is from another building and you can see that they were looking at the at the same at the same entrance. So you got these guys, you got the it looks like a security guard. You have somebody who's already standing outside waiting. You've got somebody waving at the bottom there. And then you have the car parked and you see the guy in the yellow and the guy in the other and that's the Chrysler. So the Chrysler was the second car, remember that. So it looks like the first car had already parked and the Chrysler came afterwards. And then that's when they all start work, walking off in the same direction. You can see them walking in the same direction there, off to the left there. This is crazy, man. This is wild. Like, we knew this was going to be some horrible footage when it gets released. And there you go, the guy in the yellow and the guys who were in the car. So they all took off in the same direction. Okay? Craziness. So basically, what we can take away from this footage and what we can deduce from all this is this was a tragic situation. It was a horrible situation. To be honest, this is just senseless violence. And this is the lessons that should be learned in this situation is. Look at this. There are cameras everywhere, man. You are not going to get away with a crime today. You're just not. It's not going to happen. There are cameras everywhere. And especially when you go to some place like that, especially when you go to a place that's super ritzy and super advanced, they're going to have cameras, neighborhood watch, people looking out, it's all, and then to think about this, this all took place in broad daylight. This was a broad daylight shooting that this took place, man. So you got to account for that as well. Like these cats probably didn't think that they would get caught because they had planned things out, but you can't, uh, you can't beat these cameras these days, man. You're just not going to beat the cameras. You're just not going to be, be able to beat people having cameras on them every day in their hand as their phones. It's just not possible, man. And the, the lack of understanding of that at the time, maybe. But so the big lesson in this is, bruh, especially in these big cities, there's cameras looking at cameras. You're not going to get away with any type of crime if you think you are, man. Especially not a brazen murder in the middle of broad daylight. Like, this is crazy to even attempt. Like, in broad daylight, we can make out the color of your cars, color of sneakers, color of everything pretty much in this video and even everything that matches up from whatever somebody got in discovery or wherever they got this information you can see play out in the court case it, as the testimony came out as the pictures came out and as the story broke initially man so that's probably the biggest lesson to be learned from this but what do y'all think about this footage being released man is this too tragic and graphic for to be out there or do you think that eventually we're going to come to a time where every case and everything will always get released and people will actually be able to see these 
cases in real time like we're seeing today. And what it shows you is when it comes down to these murders and these shootings, it's not as simple as a movie, man. When you look at it in real life, it's really an ugly thing, man. Now with that, this being your boy, Big Man, do me a favor. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit that notification bell so that way you get a notification every time I drop this hot content. And we out of here. Peace. And oh yeah, RIP. FBG Duck, man. And shout out to his family, friends, a lot of people out there who care for him, spoke on my platforms and everything, man. Yo, yo, my condolences to y'all and to this footage being released as well, man. And we out of here. Peace.